Today I'd like to talk to you about one of the most important topics in iron metabolism, namely the generation of non-transferrin bound iron or what we call in short NTBI. We mentioned before that it is very dangerous to have free iron in your circulation because free iron, just write it here, free iron is very toxic. So under normal circumstances any iron that gets into the body uh, via absorption, um, this is the, the duodenum just by the way, um, or via recycling from the macrophages in the spleen or from anywhere else for that matter would end up being carried on molecules that I've drawn here in yellow um, called transferrin. You hear the word transferrin uh, included in that is trans for transport, ferrin for iron. So these are the iron transporters. Each transferrin molecule has got two seats like a tandem bicycle or a little uh, canoe or kayak with two seats that can carry the iron. But you can also see that the number of seats that are available in total is actually limited. So the reality is, is that when we overwhelm the capacity of transferrin to bind iron in whichever way, we will end up with iron that cannot find the seat. And this iron will not be bound through transferrin. And in very simple terms, that is what we mean if we speak, by, speak about non uh, transferrin bound iron. So let's draw that here. So let's say iron that is not uh, carried on transferrin. We'll just draw these little dots. This will be the free iron in the circulation. This free iron is not totally free because it can be bound to other molecules in the circulation. And it's actually a collection therefore. You can actually think about NTBI as a collection of iron bound to different molecules but not to transferrin. Some of these iron molecules are bound very tightly. Some are bound very loosely to the other molecules in the circulation and those that are bound loosely are called labile plasma iron. So labile plasma iron is a subset or it's a type of non-transferrin bound iron but it's very important to know about because labile plasma iron is the most toxic of all the forms of NTBI. In addition it can penetrate cells and once it gets into a cell it will lead to the generation of what we call reactive oxygen species free radicals and these free radicals can damage a lot of things inside the cell it can damage for instance DNA membranes it can damage mitochondria lipids RNA you name it the end result of all this is cellular damage that will lead to organ damage and in the case of iron overload this is damage to the heart, the liver and many different endocrine organs such as the pancreas, the thyroid, the pituitary gland, the ovaries, the testicles etc. So you can see in this short overview that NTBI is dangerous because it can lead to the organ damage that we see uh, in patients with iron overload. In the next video I will explain how non-transferrin bound iron is actually generated because that's a very interesting story in itself.